Hey everyone, we have seen several applications of the Pygame module by now. In this video, we'll try to make designs on screen using the keys, the arrow keys. From now on, we'll make programs that are simple and quick, but will help us get a better idea of the Pygame module. The more you practice, the more you see the applications of the Pygame module, the more you'll get comfortable with it. So let's get started. I'll import the Pygame module. I'll write import Pygame and then I'll initialize it. Then I'll set up the screen. I'll write pygame.display.setMode and I'll set up the screen size to be 500,500. It fits perfectly in my window. And then I'll also set up a caption. The caption would be design since I'm drawing a design using the arrow keys. I'll do set caption and write designs. Then I'll write the while loop. Don't worry, I'll get to the main code later. I really like to set up the basic structure first, then get to the main code. So while true, I'll do the for loop then for events in pygame dot event dot get. I access the queue like this, the events queue. Then I'll set up the condition if event type events dot type equals pygame quit. Then I'll call the pygame quit function and also quit. So this was the basic structure, the main three uh, basic steps that we write in any pygame program. Now I'll get to the basic code, the main code. So. If I'm saying I want to use the arrow keys to draw a design while I move an object, so it should be it should make sense to you that I'll be using the code. I'll I'll be writing something similar to the moving object code. Okay, so if I'm saying I want to move an object that would leave a trail and that would draw the designs, so I need to describe my figure. So I'll set up the initial position. So let me take x y two variables and set up the initial position to be. 100 comma 100 you can take any position you can take 50 comma 50 or 10 comma 10 then i'll set up the width and height it's i'll, I'll describe the size h i g h t uh, the width and height can be height can be 10 comma 10 then i'll set up the speed by which the figure should displace each time we press an arrow key so let it be 10 i'll also give in a delay I'll write pygame dot time dot delay of 10 milliseconds in the while true loop so that we can observe our object moving properly and it does not rush. I hope you can recall this code as we are writing it and you're on the same page as I am. Then we'll describe a variable key which would be a list. It would be a sequence of booleans that would keep the state of all the keys on the keyboard. So how do I do that? I'd write pygame.key.getPressed and this would be a sequence of all the states of the keys on the keyboard. And this is how I'd know which key was pressed and accordingly I'll use it for the further setup. So if, now I'll set up my conditions, if I press the up arrow key i'll write key pi game dot k underscore up so that would give me the state of the up button and i'll also write since i am going up i'll write y should always be greater than zero okay and i'll increment i'll decrement y by the speed value since i'm going up Okay. Similarly, for down button, I'll write pi game dot k underscore down, and y should be less than the screen size that is five hundred minus the height. Cool. I'll increment y now since I'm going down. I'll increment y by speed units. Now I'll do the same thing for. The right and left key pi game dot k underscore left and 
x now i'll talk about x because i am pressing the left key x should be greater than 0 always and i'll decrement x by speed units i'll do the same thing for the right key i'll write by game dot k underscore right and x should be less than 500 my screen size minus the width okay then i'll increment x by speed units since i'm going right okay i hope you remember how we accessed that key list we use the constants the key constants okay and yeah cool i hope you remember this i hope you can recall all this then i'll draw my figure i'll do by game dot draw dot rect i'll take a simple rectangle screen is the surface i'm going to draw on then the color would be white it looks good on black background and then the rect values would be the initial coordinates and its size width and height fine then i'll update this complete thing Fine, we are done with the code. Now you might notice I haven't used the screen fill thing. Uh, why haven't I used it? Because I don't want any single color on my screen always. As my object moves, it should leave a trail now. Okay, if I it, it, it is the only difference between the moving object code and the design code. Okay, so I hope you get this. I don't want any single color on my screen. That's why I'm not using screen fill color. A screen fill function cool let's run this and see if it works as we want it to so yeah if i now run this i can see the object and if i press the right button it goes right if i press down it goes down if i press left it goes left and it's working very fine it gives us various patterns as i'm pressing the arrow keys it goes it moves accordingly and uh, this is very useful when we are making a maze kind of video game it helps you track your object i hope you got whatever we did in the program you were i hope you were able to recall the things thank you